Hi, I'm Henry Thomas from riggeek.com and this is my guide how to plane the lazy way. I call it the lazy way because it's all about hooking in early. Uh, I tend to ride bigger boards and bigger sails because I'm a what you call a heavyweight sailor and that tends to put a lot of strain on your arms so I like to hook in early and initiate planing in the harness. Okay, we're going to start with how to plane with a fairly upright stance, which is more controllable for a beginner. Now, typically from a beach start, I would hang low off the boom, get a bit of power in the sail, thrust my pelvis forward and hook in early. Correct my stance, arms apart, front foot just behind the mast base, back foot's just between the straps, and I'm going to shuffle my back foot back bend my knees and lean back on the sail. This is going to transfer weight through the boom, down the mast, the centre of the board, levelling it out and easing it onto the plane. Now the first time you plane, you're going to feel like that board is going to rush away from underneath you. So it's important to keep your weight planted on your feet. Don't lean back too aggressively. And if you want to slow down, just sheet out, shuffle your back foot forward a bit and you'll just ease off the plane in a nice controlled deceleration. Okay, so the next concept to get you planing that we need to discuss is apparent wind. As you and the sail accelerate through the air, the wind direction changes. It started off to your side, but now as you're moving faster, it starts to come more from the front. This creates a bit of a problem because the sail becomes less efficient. The solution is pretty simple. You've just got to keep sheeting in as you accelerate. And you'll get a feel for this as you go. All you need to do is shuffle your front and back foot back. So your heels start touching the straps. And this will keep the sail sheeted in nicely. Once again, as a beginner, don't worry about getting in the straps yet. Upright stance, nice and controllable. Now, as you progress, you're going to want to start stepping into the straps. So once again, hang low, power on the sail, thrust your pelvis up, hook in. Now this time I'm going to step right back and yank that sail down because there's plenty of power here and it's going to launch me straight up onto the plane. Now this is a nice controllable intermediate stance. Front foot in the strap, back foot in the center. You can steer the board quite easily and your weight is still fairly upright and the rig is controllable. Okay, so the next stage in your progression, you're going to want to get both feet in the straps. Once again, hang low, hook in early. And for this more aggressive stance, I've changed my hand positions at the front. The front grip, the palm is facing upwards. And this helps you really rake that sail back as you accelerate. I'm trimming the rig for apparent wind. As soon as I feel the lift, I've moved my front foot into the front strap. My back foot is now out on the rail. Now it was a bit choppy on this day, so I turned the board upwind a little bit. Once again, shuffling out onto the rail a bit further. Uh, this takes pressure off the front of the sail, which is trying to pull you forward and catapult as you slip your foot in. It's in now, and now I'm locked in and in control. I'm going to start pointing downwind a bit more and accelerating. And you'll see uh, very soon I'm going to catch this uh, kite surfer on my left. The uh, difference in planing speed between having just your front foot in the straps and both feet in the straps is quite marked. You've got your weight right out on the rail, you're locked in, lots of control and tons of acceleration. Now, getting both feet in the straps on a wide board and planing early is a little bit trickier. You can see from the water start, um, straight in the harness and uh, I'm stepping, shuffling straight out onto the rails. I'm going to move my front foot into the front strap as I feel the lift 
as I start to accelerate onto the plane. Back foot's out on the rail, angling back, slipping it in, and bingo. Just raw acceleration, and you can see the board just zipping away. Okay, so the technique here is to sheet in, let the boom lift you up onto the board, sheet out so you don't fall forward, lean back and hook in early. And uh, I'm adjusting my hand grip at the front, palm facing up, I'm dodging a windsurfer who's approaching me, so I'm not going to play in just yet. Rightio, here we go, shuffle the feet back, heels are both against the straps. I'm feeling the acceleration, front foot's in the strap now, back foot's against the strap, out onto the rail with the back foot, angle it, slip it in, bingo, tons of acceleration and off I go. Okay, one more time. Shuffle that back foot back as the apparent wind changes, feel the acceleration, front foot in the strap, back foot shuffling out onto the rail, angle it up and in, in the strap now, oh, a bit of trouble, wiggle it in, and bingo, away we go. Now I have to say that once you progress to this point, both feet in the straps on a wide board, flat water roaring underneath you as you're blasting along on a beautiful day like this, there's just nothing better. So keep up with it, keep trying, you'll get there and you just enjoy yourself. It's so much fun. See you on the water.